Hello everyone, my name is Saloni and today we'll discuss a question that will be helpful to you for all physics competitive exams. And so our question says a 25 kg solid door is 220 centimeter tall, 91 centimeter wide. What is the door moment of inertia for rotation on its hinges? And in B part rotation about vertical axis inside the door 15 centimeter from one edge. So first we'll draw a door door and there is uh, one hinge and I have made two hinges okay and uh, from if we are rotating around the hinges okay then of course this door works like a rod which if this is the length and at one end you are rotating so movement of inertia is so 1 by 3 m into l square and what is l this is the length okay which is 91 so in question we are given that it's 2 to two, two, 2 to 0 centimeter tall and 91 centimeter wide okay so it's 1 by 3 m is 25 l is 91 divided by 100 whole square okay so this comes when you solve this this comes out as 6.9 kg meter square so this is the moment of inertia of the door about its hinges so our first part is solved now we'll talk about the second part it says rotation about the vertical axis inside the door 15 centimeter from one edge okay so now from one edge it's 15 centimeter okay so vertical axis inside the door 15 centimeters so from this edge it's we are we move 15 centimeter and this is 91 so this this will be 91 minus 15 centimeter okay okay so this is the length now now what we'll do we'll solve this and when we'll solve this now for the b part you see we have to find okay we have to find through a axis through a vertical axis inside the door 15 centimeter from one edge so first we'll find the center of mass okay center of mass of our door and you see it's symmetrical door the distribution of mass is symmetrical so if this is uh, if this is our uh, this the width of the uh, door then our center of mass will be just at the middle okay and if like it's 220 centimeter then yeah half of it okay so here we'll have our center of mass so d okay so this is if this is total uh if if this is 0 0.91 then this distance is 0 0.91 divided by 2 okay and now from one edge we move 15 centimeter okay so the distance this this distance we'll find that is the distance of this is the axis through which our door will move okay so we'll find this d distance okay so we know that from cent if if this is the center of mass and if we have this axis from center of mass we have our uh, center of mass of our door if 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 it's moving now for the b part we have this is our door we have this hinges here okay now it says rotation about a vertical axis inside the door 15 centimeter from one edge okay so now our 15 let's see from this edge we take 15 centimeter and we'll have to find the rotation about this axis okay now for this axis we know that from center of mass if we take center of mass uh, like uh, axis vertical axis through center of mass then i center of mass will be equal to 1 by 12 m l square 
okay now this is 15 cm how much is this distance this is 91 divided by 2 so this distance d will be 91 divided by 2 minus 15 okay so this comes out as 30.5 cm and if you convert it into meters this is 0.305 meter okay so d we have here now using polar axis theorem we can use i is equal to icm plus md square and this this will use so i will be equal to icm which is 1 by 12 into m into l square which is 0.91 whole square plus m into this d which we have calculated 0.305 0.305 whole square so i when we calculate whole thing comes out as 4.1 kg meter square okay here we have just used our polar axis theorem okay and we have used this condition that yes if if it's if it's moving by this if you moving it if it was moving by this hinge then definitely it behaves like a rod of this much length of this is the length okay and vertically if it's moving then also we use the formula of a rod okay a rod if going through the center of mass we know that if it goes through center of mass then it's 1 by 12 ml square and if it goes through at one end then it's 1 by 3 ml square so we use these properties and solve this question okay so thank you for watching this video if you like our content please subscribe to our channel to learn more about physics